Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics. I'm back. And in this DCS S16 Viper video, we'll take a look at the non-cooperative target recognition or NCTR, also called Nectar, that we can use to identify the aircraft type. As I'm sure many of you are aware, this system compares the turbine blade signatures of different engines to a database of associated aircraft types. This can be a useful system to identify the aircraft type at beyond visual ranges up to around 25 nautical miles. Because Nectar requires the radar to see the engine blades, there are a few important requirements. First, the target must be within range of Nectar, generally around 25 miles at most. Second, the target nose or tail must be within 30 degrees in azimuth and elevation of your nose. And third, the target must be in a single target track. Let's go ahead and take a look at this in action. Alrighty, so we got a target off the nose at about 34 miles. We're in a single target track and well within 30 degrees uh, azimuth. So let's go ahead and do a target manage and switch left along to interrogate it with an IFF and Nectar. So we're pressing, line of sight. We can see under norm we have INBL indicating valid because we're outside of range. Also in yellow because we had a negative response on the IFF, uh, but now that target is ambiguous. So let's come down to about uh, 24 miles. We'll do it again. Okay, pressing left on the TMA switch. Now we can see that the type is an SU-27 and it went red. Red because we have two factors in that rules of engagement tree. Uh, the first being the negative IFF and the second being that nectar print. So folks, hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Thanks.